what's going on guys Vic VP back one of the game case arcades video on this one today we got another mid-sized Nintendo cabinet Donkey Kong style so another busy week in the books I actually really have two arcade cabinets going out that one we're gonna show in a separate video a little sneak peek on that but on this one today, we're going to be talking about the mid-size vertical Nintendo cabinet Donkey Kong theme on this amazing cabinet. I, I'm starting to grow and like these cabinets, but I am also starting to develop a love-hate relationship with the mid-size Nintendo cabinets. If you remember on my last video, we had the Pac-Man themed one, and I did mention that I got an order for the Donkey Kong one. Amazing artwork, really cool. If you look at the first video I did, I talked about an orange Donkey Kong cabinet. Um, and I was a little bit incorrect. An orange cabinet is actually Donkey Kong Jr. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments, but from what I'm understanding is that the orange cabinet is Donkey Kong Jr. So I got a customer. Uh, we are going to Union, New Jersey tomorrow. He ordered a Donkey Kong cabinet. Awesome cabinet. Wanted to keep it original, just very close to you know real artwork as far as this. So we do have Donkey Kong artwork on it. And we got the riser. Pretty cool, pretty great cabinet. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm talking about with this love-hate relationship with this cabinet, but let me get out of selfie mode and let's take a closer look at this Donkey Kong cabinet. So again, this is going out to Union, New Jersey tomorrow. It is 2 a.m. out here, uh, pretty busy building arcade cabinets, but this one I have to get out tomorrow morning, so I'm kind of rushing this video a little bit, but let's go through some basics. Uh, customer requested Donkey Kong artwork. We went through, I think, three um artwork kind of stencils really artwork came from game room solutions so i can't take the credit on this uh basically we were just deciding on the riser um they did have another Donkey kong option with like stripes customer didn't want it we stuck with basically the regular Donkey kong logo uh sad thing about this i felt kind of bad for the guy because he mentioned when I, I text pictures while i build uh and a customer requested if it was possible to add the image to the kick plate after it was ordered and all that that was kind of tough um you know it would honestly lead me to call game room solutions and they would have to charge me for a reprint on that um again though proofs did go out so it's kind of something that i will you know every cabinet you learn something i always triple say and you know i have it in writing saying hey do you approve this artwork yes are you sure you approve this artwork yes so um it's kind of different when you actually see it live he did notice the big blue gap but in all honesty, this is replicating a real cabinet. So the original cabinet didn't have a logo or a, you know, artwork on the kick plate. But all in all, it's a great looking cabinet. Definitely stands out. Definitely loving the blue and the white team molding. Again, keeping it as original as possible. Again, running a 22 inch Asus on this. And on this build, kind of unique in regards to the volume switch. I mentioned it in my Pac-Man video that I'm making this with a unique kind of twist and I'm gonna show you the audio volume kind of modification or add-on I should say that I did for this cast. But before going inside, just take a look at the artwork real quick. Definitely loving the marquee. Awesome. Again, original, original, original. Loving it. Definitely loving it. Looking at the Control panel, the one thing I did notice on the control panel, which I'll know for the future. Again, detail, even like the little instruction card here. But I do feel bad because we missed this. Usually I have my coin button here, which it's not a big deal, but Game Room Solutions had this pre-labeled coin and start. Um, so it's one player start. So it was gonna be dumb for me to put the coin button here and then have it say coin here. So on all my other builds, I've usually done coin here and then player one, player two start. But on this one, because of the artwork, I went coin, player one, player two. What I've noticed a lot mostly is that a lot of customers, they wind up mostly just using player one start. Um, kind of rarely do you see people doing two player because um, some people don't like to switch in between. They kind of like to go with one straight game and then switch players to compare and beat high scores. Um, so it is pretty cool. I do, I do like this, but I do feel bad you know, we did oversee the player to start. Again, basic three button layout. We do have the trackball on this 2.5 inch. So 
playing games like Centipede and Super Breakout is great on this cabinet. That's honestly a very big plus with this. It's, it's in a great location. And again, the cabinet is a perfect, it's a perfect size. Uh, I always, I do like the size of these. I honestly do like the full size real Pac-Man Galaga type cabinets, but this one is a very close second. Obviously you got LEDs out. I do have the LED controller in the back, so I just kept this as a white. I'll let the customer choose if he wants to do slow fade on it, but all in all, again, great looking cabinet. Just great. So just for video purposes real quick, I just put the LEDs to slow fade, turn off the garage lights. Okay. Just kind of take a look at it in the dark. I do have my other cabinet here, but you do see the glow on this. Again, really great. I always do LEDs. Um, again, I always do the custom cut underneath the control panel to keep it nice and clean, no bulging on the LED strip. It's a great showpiece all the time with all the arcade cabinets that I do. LEDs are a must. It's just an eye catcher. So a couple key things that the customer requested. He did want a white power cord, I guess, to match like the white T molding. I found a power cord, but it's, I think it's like a, I think it's like an eight foot cord. Um, so at least I found the white cord for him. But uh, basically if you see right here, you could see our volume knob mod on this. So basically I found a volume knob on Amazon, thanks to somebody from an RK one up group. And uh, they suggested this, it is half inch um, MDF on this. So finding a knob that is longer than half an inch was a task. I returned like four knobs from Amazon and this one luckily is a pretty good fit. So no need to worry or stress. You just kind of roll your finger here so it's not rubbing against anything. I did have to cut the wood. Obviously, as you could see, it was my first time kind of cutting it. Um, customer is a perfectionist. So, you know, I did explain like, listen, I don't have the proper tools. I didn't have the proper bit size to make a perfect circle. But the one thing I do know and notice now, or from my experience with this knob, is that it needs room on the bottom. So a regular circle really wouldn't cut it. You would have to make kind of like a U shape, just like what I did. So again, pretty cool mod. The only downside honestly to this is that it is, um, it's a little bit lower than what uh, Game Room Solutions supplies, their blue amps. So it's loud though, um, but I wouldn't say it's louder than the Game Room Solutions one. So if I put a coin in, gonna move the volume. I mean, definitely you could hear it. Um, you know, if you were in even a game room, it is pretty loud. Uh, I guess what I'm really meaning to say is missing the option to mess around with the bass and the treble is maybe what I'm really trying to say here is that this doesn't have options for bass or treble. It's just basically a volume up and down. Uh, but all in all, pretty solid. Again, we do have the mono sound on this. Uh, I did, I always do it with my little door hinge mod that um, Game Room Solutions doesn't do, they should. So basically, you could really wail on this joystick and the control panel will not lift up. Uh, Four-way joystick on this, so definitely playing games like Pac-Man definitely is quite pleasant on this. Again, vertical screen, 22 inch. And again, playing games like Pac-Man, you really can't miss a beat. Definitely loving it. Awesome again. Now I know orange cabinet is Donkey Kong Jr. But another mid-size Nintendo vertical cabinet going out. Again, clean wiring as always. LED strips. We got an LED controller up there. Open up the door below. Again, we are running a 60 in one board on this. And nice and easy. Let me see if I can get a quick capture of the volume switch. There you go. So as you can see, it's like a board. It does, you know, need to go against the wall just like that. But uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool mod. I'm gonna have to just, you know, on personal for me, I'm gonna have to just kind of clean it nice and clean. I did use my scroll saw and I was able to get the cut straight to a square, but then it was kind of, it just looked weird being square. So I tried to basically round it out with a drill bit. I mean, it looks good, you know, 
if you look dead on at it, which I doubt people will do, but obviously you're going to see MDF cut and MDF wood. But all in all, it is a pretty solid modification. Uh, and again, customer really wanted that because he didn't want kids lifting the control panel and possibly touching wire. So he could just come right here and just lift up the knob just like that, raise it and lower it. So pretty cool. I'll be honest, I give him kudos for the idea on that. And I hopefully I, I pulled it off. Uh, again, Victory P Game Case Arcades, another mid-sized Nintendo. Look at the bezel on this. It's beautiful. I like it. Just like all the arcades that I build, it's always a thumbs up. Vig VP Game Case Arcades. 